Hello everyone and welcome back to HUD Bricks. Today we'll be having another LEGO Christmas 2020 haul. This has some great sets, including some huge sets and some creator expert vehicles and some LEGO ideas. Without further ado, let's get on into this. HUD Bricks has his scissors to get ready to open in these sets. So the first set we're going to start off with is a gift with purchase for Christmas 2020 and it is the Charles Dickens A Christmas Carol Tribute. This set I have absolutely loved, it was really fun to build, this is actually just the box right here, but I've already gotten a review up on the channel so I'll leave a link in the description below so you can go check that out. But I absolutely love this set and with I think it was $150 or more you got this so really happy to pick this set up. But that is the smallest one. Now for the second smaller one, smallest one, this is the only set that's under $100 and it is the Formula E Panasonic Jaguar Racing Gen 2 Car and Jaguar One Pace E Trophy. Gigantic name for a cool set. I absolutely love these Jaguar cars. You can see that on the back of the box. They have the actual cars. And I just, I think this is a great set for, I think it was $50 USD. But let's put that on back there. And now it's time to get to the big boy sets. So the first set is a creator expert vehicle. And that would be the Volkswagen T1 camper van. Sorry if it can barely fit in the screen there, but there we go. You can see that it is Lego ages 16 plus, set number 10220, the Volkswagen T1 camper van, and it has 1,334 pieces. Phenomenal set, just gorgeous. I love all the greenery around it. The box design is amazing, but it looks like it's 12 inches long, which is pretty crazy, but you can see right there the doors open. You've got all these special details inside. Really excited to build the set and really happy to get this for Christmas this year. So there are the first three sets. And now the next set, I believe this is the second most um, like biggest set that I got here. And it can barely fit in the screen. Um, let's see if we can sum it. There we go. That makes it work. All right. So we can see that right there. It's ages six plus. Set number 60262, and it is the passenger airplane. This has 669 pieces. Now you may be thinking, wait, the Volkswagen had more. Well, yes it did, but this has way bigger pieces, including that, that, and of course the airplane itself. Really excited to get this. I'm hoping to be able to put it above my Lego City, make it look like it's flying. But this set, I believe, retailed for $99.99 USD. You can see that we've got the airplane itself. We've got a really winky dink little airport, which I'm not that happy about. I'll probably do a modification video of this, giving the airplane more cars and expanding the airport, but I'm happy to pick this one up and this set will be fun to build. Holy cow, this barely fits in there. But it's time for our last set, which is probably my favorite one. And that is like the rebirth of the Saturn V. Wow, you can barely see it. But as I pan up, you can see that it says NASA, Apollo, Saturn V, Lego logo, and you've got the moon right here, which I thought is really cool. The box design is just phenomenal. You can see that it's ages 14 plus, set number 92176, had 1,969 pieces. That is a lot of pieces, it's almost 2,000 pieces, and you can see some different box designs. This is, the, um, of course, the shuttle itself, which looks absolutely phenomenal. Down here at the bottom, you can see that we've got a seal for the Apollo NASA, and you can also see some measurements right here, saying that it is actually 39 inches tall. Holy cow, that, that is really tall. But this set, I'm going to try to maneuver it in here. So by some kind of Christmas miracle, I was able to fit all of these sets in there. It is a total of five sets, and I'm super happy. I'm excited to be able to build some of these sets. I'm excited to build the passenger airplane, because that looks like it'll be a really fun build. And I'm also really excited to get reviews up on the channel for you guys. So without further ado, be sure to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any of the reviews of these sets because I'm really excited to show them to you guys. Also, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you went on to enjoy it and drop a comment down below and tell me if you have these sets or any ideas that you have for me to be able to build these sets. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you next time on HUD Bricks.